Hi everyone, I'm Lisa and welcome to Lisa's Stamp Studio. Mm, chocolate. I'm a big, big fan of chocolate. And I'll confess, I have probably a small piece every day. Some days more than one piece. Uh, this is why I tend to try to exercise three or four days a week, because I love it. I think it should be a food group. And with that in mind, I decided to create a really cute chocolate favor that looks like this. Now, you might remember something similar to this presented by Patty Bennett just before the holidays. It was a gift card holder. And I loved her idea so much that I thought, hmm, what else can I make with it? So I've decided to create a pocket with this that's going to hold a favor as well as a cute card in the back. I cannot wait to show you how easy it is to make. Remember that all the products are available in my online store and I offer great exclusive rewards for your order. I'll give you a free project PDF tutorial for any size order. So don't forget to head over there and place your order today. All the projects I'm using are available. And don't forget, it's celebration. During this time, you can choose anything free from the celebration offering with any $50 order. And you can redeem that as many times as you want up until March 31st. Let's go get some chocolate in us and I'm going to show you how to make this. I wanted to give you a good close-up of this three-day project holding these adorable Hershey's Nuggets. Isn't this cute? And like I told you, it's really easy. So let's start assembling it. You're going to need one of the sketched dots bags. And these are a glass sign bag. So it's kind of opaque. You can see through it. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fold up about all the way up to about three inches. So I'm going to put my ruler here just to give you a visual. And here's the three inch mark. So we're gonna to wanna to fold this up. Once the bag has been folded, we'll need something to seal this to make the pocket. So I'm using a piece of designer paper from the Birthday Bouquet Designer Series Paper Stack. This stack is beautiful and you've seen me use it before. One side on this one is the dots and this one is the border. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put my raw pieces to the front so that um, I can hide it. I don't want to wrap this too tightly because remember we are going to fill it so it's going to need a little bit of room. So I'm going to leave a little bit extra space here and a little bit extra space here when I go to fold it. So again my raw pieces are to the front and we're going to hide that with the embellishment. So now we're going to need to attach this. So to seal this, I'm going to use tear tape. I found that this holds better than your snail adhesive. So I'm going to start by pulling off small pieces and I'm going to assemble it here near the edges on the top and bottom. And you don't have to cover it completely, but you do want it tacked down. Now once the tear tape is down, you're going to want to burnish it with your fingers to make sure that it's down. And I'm going to use my paper piercing tool to remove the paper backing. I have difficulty getting this off. I have very short fingernails, so this really kind of helps me. And I will give you a word of caution. If you take the whole thing apart at one time, it's going to be a sticky mess. So I'm going to start here by just doing portion at a time. The goal is to hide this seam that's on the back. So I want to make sure I kind of got it centered, and I do. So I'm going to stick that here. And now I'm going to work from the back side and take off the tear tape here. And then I'm going to attach that here. And then this piece is going to get attached to here. Okay, so now we're folding this over. And you're going to notice I didn't make this too tight because I want to make sure that I've got room to fill that bag and so it can expand. Okay, so now we've created that pocket. Next is going to come the tea lace paper doily. Now to get this little small doily, let me show you what I did. I cut up to the center, just visual. And then I started pleating it like an accordion. I kind of went up and down. Look, this is not gonna be neat. It's gonna be really messy because we're scrunching it. I mean, we're literally gonna make it smaller. And as you get closer to the end, you're gonna be like, I'm running out of paper. It's not gonna work. It's gonna be just fine. So here we go. I'm gonna open it back up and then watch. I am going to put these ends together. It's gonna to be all messy, it's okay. And then I'm just squishing it and I'm flattening it out, okay? It's gonna look fine when we get it together, so don't panic. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna add some adhesive to the back of this. So I'm gonna add some snail adhesive here, just enough to hold this down. And I'm going to put my raw seam at the bottom and I'm working over this crease so that we can hide it. 
And I'm going to switch those around so it looks a little neater. And then I'm squishing and I'm pressing. Okay. So now we've gotten ourselves a smaller doily to fit the pieces we're going to put on the front. Now, I'm going to tell you I am totally in love with this Blushing Bride Glimmer Paper. Love it. This is the 2 and 3 eighths inch scallop circle punch. And I'm going to punch out one from that glimmer paper. And that is going to go here in the center of my circle. So I'm going to add some dimensionals to the back. Again, when you're using things for 3D, be a little bit more generous than you normally would. And that's going to go here in the center. Now let's talk about the um, image in the middle. We're going to take a piece of Whisper White cardstock and the Blushing Bride ink. And I'm going to use the heart. And this is from the Bloomin' Love stamp set. Gorgeous! This comes as a bundle with the most beautiful filigree die you have ever seen. And I'm going to flip to that here. Look at this. Is this not absolutely stunning? Right here where I've circled it is the bundle. You cannot buy one without the other. This is the most gorgeous suite of product, in my opinion. I love, love the color concept. So I'm taking that heart and I'm going to ink it up in Blushing Bride ink. And I'm going to stamp it on my scratch paper. I'm using Mossy Meadow ink for my greeting. Since those are the two colors in my designer series paper, I wanted just to keep things coordinate. And then again, photopolymer, you gotta love that you're gonna be able to see exactly where this is gonna go. We're gonna do some fussy cutting. And we talked about this, I believe, last week in the last video I showed you. Biggest mistake you're gonna make is trying to get too close. So leave some white paper around it and you are literally just following the silhouette. There is no punch or die for the small heart in the stamp set. I know, boo hiss, boo hiss. But you know what, look, I'm talking to you and it's going very, very quickly. I bet that you can cut this in less than one minute. So this now is going to go on top of here. And to do that, I am going to use more dimensionals. So again, I'm going to do one, two, and three. I'm going to be just a little bit more dement, um, generous than I normally am because it's a 3D project. And that's going to go right here. Now you're going to notice that this also has an insert in it. This little card pulls out for you to write your greeting. So I'm going to show you how to make that. This is cut three and a half by four. Again, remember all the dimensions are on my blog, so head over there. Blushing Bride Ink. We're going to use this cute, whimsical heart border stamp. And this comes from the stamp set Birthday Blooms. Going to ink that up. And I'm going to stamp that right here near the top. Going to use my Curvy Corner Trio Punch. I've used this a lot lately. Going to stick that in this one corner to get this specific design. And I'm going to do that on both sides. This piece slides right inside the envelope like so. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill this a little bit with the crinkled paper. If you're going to use candy, small pieces of candy, it's going to float all the way down to the bottom. So just for presentation purposes, I'm adding a little bit of filler. If you're using something like um, a small hand lotion or a lip balm or nail polish, you're not going to need as much of this. I just don't want my candies lost. And then I'm using Hershey's Nuggets. These are the silver milk chocolate ones. You can get these in a multi-pack. The cheapest place to find these is either Costco or Sam's. So look, isn't that really cute? And then of course you have your little pull-out card here in the back to provide your sentiment or your greeting for the person you're giving it to. Remember, all the products are available in my online store and all the cutting dimensions and tips for this project are on my blog, so head over there and check it out. And remember, I offer exclusive rewards for your online purchases. Thanks so much for joining me, everyone, and I'll see you next time.